what's up guys we're gonna roll beats today i'm gonna be showing you guys piano book and decent sampler if you guys haven't subbed already or turned post on these on you do so because it does help it a lot so let's hop right into it now if you aren't familiar with piano book basically it is a huge library of custom samples or instruments that you can get for free right and decent sampler is just the i guess the vst that hosts the samples all right and there you can use contact with this as well with some of them at least um but i just use a decent sampler one because it's just easier and it loads faster all right, so now I'm gonna just walk you through how to install this start to finish. Now there should be a link or a couple of links in the description on the comment section, and I'm gonna put those in order so you know which order to install everything. But basically just copy the decent sampler link and then you just wanna paste it into your browser. And then once you do that, it should take you to the decent sampler website where you can actually download the actual VST. Okay, and it's free and just pick if you're on Windows or Mac, put your information in and it should let you download it right after that or send it to your email. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna be showing you how to actually get the library. So there should be a link in the description uh, where it takes you to literally all of the libraries. And there's 21 pages. This took me about three days to download, so it's a lot. But you can go ahead and pick the ones that you want and just don't download the ones you don't want. So basically what you wanna do, just copy that link, post, you know, paste it in Google or whatever browser you're using. And the easiest way I do it is just right click everything and open in a new tab and then you can download all of those at once. Now, I'm not sure how good your internet connection is. Mine is garbage. So you should be able to download at least four uh, libraries at the same time. And most of them are about like 400 megabytes, something like that. All right, so you can go ahead and download all of those. I um, mean, it'll take you a while. There's a lot of pages, um, but it is worth it. All right, very high quality stuff, very interesting custom sounds, but that's pretty much the rundown on that. All right, so now I'm gonna be showing you how to actually install these. So how it should look in the folder. So once you download it to whatever drive or folder that you want, um, what you wanna do is just create a new folder. You can call it piano book or library. I have mine as piano book and then um, a subfolder as library. And this is where you install everything. Now, in order for this to work, you have to have the actual library or samples in the direct folder. So it shouldn't be in multiple folders right so i'll click one so you can see real quick so you click this one you can see all the samples are directly in that folder so it shouldn't be in another folder it should be directly so you see how i'm clicking it and the samples are right there it should be like that in order for this to work all right and that's pretty much all you need and just put them there and you should be good to go all right so now how do you actually install on these sample libraries. So the easiest way to do it, and it should give you a prompt when you first open it, um, but just in case, what you wanna do is go to file and basically go to preferences, all right? Don't load them individually, just go to preferences. And what you can do is locate your sample library. You can see mine is on a different drive, piano book library, and it will literally just load everything automatically. And you have access to all your sounds. You can see they load pretty fast. All right, and that's how you install the libraries. Okay, so this next part is very, very important, especially if you're using a separate drive to host Decent Sampler or the library on. So what you wanna do, okay, when you open it is click this, right? Now, if you're in a different DAW, I don't, I'm not sure how to navigate that, but I'm sure they do have something like this. And what you need to do is go to troubleshooting. You need to turn on use fixed size buffers, okay? Now in FL, if you do not have this on and you're having your libraries and samples on a different drive, it will crash, all right? At least with this version of FL, it will crash, so you need to have this on. All right, so that's pretty much all for that. And I'll just move on to the next part. All right, so now I'm just gonna show a few sounds and then we can just move on to the part where I can just kinda um, add sounds together and make a melody. Um, but here's one of them, all right? I need to turn this up. All right, and then you have, I don't know why, but when you open it, sometimes these, kind of go blank or gray. All right, but you can go to browse and usually there are other options here. So you can, they have stuff you can purchase as well, but um, you know, we just got these libraries here. So they got a little, you know, some guitars and stuff. I'll just click through some of these sounds. Um, now this is the long way of doing it because when you click it, you have to actually load it. All right, and I just do with the far away and you can just kind of pick random. Okay, 
Um, they actually do have a flute somewhere. I don't know exactly where it's at. I think it's somewhere up here. Oh, here it is. All right, pretty nice flute. And I'm just pick a few more. I'm just picking some weird sounding. What is this? Cream soda. It's not a bad sound. All right, let's do one more. What's a ghost siren? Let's see this. Okay, and then they of course have like lo-fi pianos and and they got a lot of pianos, a lot of them. All right, now I think there's an electric guitar somewhere in here. I just saw it, but let's just go ahead and get over with the video and I'm gonna just go ahead and we can uh, make a melody uh, with this plugin. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and we can just make a little melody just with the sounds. Now, unfortunately, some of the art doesn't load, so you can't really tell which one it is, but lucky for you, it's free anyway, so you can just download everything. But some of them do show like, I think this viol, yeah, this one shows. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go in here and we just throw some down. Let's just start with the minor. Skip these, skip three, one, two, three. Create a minor. Okay, and I'm gonna just pull this out. And with this, I'm gonna take this F and pull this down an octave. Okay, and then from this F, we can just make a chord backwards. So if we were using a scale, we would just skip a note like that. So we can do that here. We can use this over here. And now we'll just place this here because to complete this scale, you'll see we have this. And then we just pretty much copy this down. Um, what did I put here? So this will be a major and this will be a minor over here. And we take these mid notes, pull them up. Okay, and then we can pull these down like two octaves. And then maybe pull one up. All right, and then I am going to, let's do a little, something like this at the end, just so it's like a loop. Change the color. Let's take this F and pull this up a few octaves, just so it's a little, little bit more interesting. And then let's take the C. Add one here. And I think that's good enough. I don't want to do too much here, so I'm just play it one time through. Right, just trying to show off the sound. So now what we could do, just copy this over here. And again, I wish I could show you the actual sounds. There's no way for me to do that. Oh crap! Hold up. Uh, all right, there we go. So here's this one. Then I'm gonna copy this and just delete all of this. Okay, I just wanna kinda make this quick. Let's just delete some of these notes and pull these out. And I know you can't see the notes, so let me zoom in. Just a little bit of texture, so. All right, so what do we have next? Just a little bit of texture. So now we can start to just put in little things little by little. So maybe something like, let me change it back. Something like this. Right, 
what do we have? A piano. So now we can kind of make a little melody here, like a little riff or something. So let's, we could just start here. We could just use this. Just keep that going throughout. think that's good enough maybe turn up a little bit what's next and i wish the art would pop up i don't know why it's not i think this one is called the dx swarm i believe but this is like a little pad and we could just add someone else let's just put the root and pull it up then we could just kind of use these same little notes where's that c at let's pull that up probably can't even hear that um but let's go on to the next one almost done now i'm gonna copy this over and pull this because this could be the base well actually we could just use the regular one oh this is our violin actually okay Okay, that's good enough. Now the last part, the bass. And this is pretty easy. We can just come down here. Now, there isn't a lot of basses in here, at least from what I've seen. So this is the only one that I heard that was really good. So here's this bass. And I guess it's pretty much all we have together. <laughs> All right, and that's pretty much it. I just kind of want to show, you know, um, what the sounds would sound like if you were just, you know, throwing some chords down, which we didn't really do much here. We just kind of just filled in spaces, but that's going to be it. The links will be in the description and at the beginning, you can go back and follow the steps and install it. That's it. Hope you liked. Make sure you got a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.